Jason here from Strength Running. One of the most fun ways of staying healthy is to rotate your running shoes. Because if you're like me, you love a good pair of running shoes and having more of them and wearing a wider variety of shoes throughout the week can actually help you stay healthy. And this is something that I've been telling runners for such a long time and there was actually a study that came out that finally proved that rotating through different pairs of running shoes actually reduces your injury risk. And it makes sense if you think about it because what is a running injury? A running injury is technically a repetitive stress injury. So if we can reduce the repetitive stress of running, we can theoretically reduce our injury risk. And that's exactly what rotating through several pairs of running shoes throughout the week does. Because every pair of shoes has a different stack height, a different heel toe drop, different types of foam used in the sole of the shoe, different levels of support, whether that's in the arch or elsewhere, and different uppers that all constrain and support your foot in different ways. And so every time you take a step in one shoe compared with a different shoe, you are subtly changing the stress on your feet and lower legs. So wearing a bunch of different shoes is great for you. So what I thought I would do today, partly for education, but also partly for fun, is give you a tour of the running shoes that I'm currently running in so that you can see how I do this for myself on a weekly basis. So let's start with a shoe that I don't wear very often because I don't really like it. <laughs> that is this shoe right here. This is the Under Armour Hover Sonic. It actually uh, connects to their app. And I've previously done a shoe review of this shoe. And while it's fine, I don't have any huge complaints about the shoe itself. I also recognize that it's just not very comfortable for me. And I'm not really sure who this shoe is for. It's not for the incredibly advanced runner. Um, and, and I don't think it's, it's really a beginner shoe. There's just not much going on with this shoe. I don't love it. It's, it's not great for either really easy runs or fast runs for me personally, uh, just because it's a little bit too heavy. It's a little bit too uh, constricting in the way that my foot moves in the shoe. So it, it's not as flexible as I would like it. Um, and so this is a shoe that I wear for maybe one or two runs a week. My short runs, my easy runs. It's a shoe that I wouldn't want to wear for a long run because it's not extraordinarily comfortable for me. And it's not something that I would want to wear for a faster workout because it's not flexible enough. It, it doesn't allow my foot to move the way that my foot wants to move. But it's a nice way for me to get out of the shoes that I typically wear for one or two days a week, short run, maybe four, five, six miles. That's it. All right. Um, let's do another recovery shoe. This is a, a Nike free, one of their Nike free options. Um, thanks to my friend John for giving me this shoe. <laughs> but this shoe is uh, another shoe that I wear mostly for recovery runs, though I will wear it for uh, some longer or slightly faster workouts. So this one is probably my most versatile shoe. Uh, I like wearing this for recovery because um, it's a little bit low to the ground, which you might not think is what you want in a recovery shoe because it's going to put a little bit more stress on uh, the Achilles and the calf and the soleus. But I've been wearing really low drop shoes for a long time, so that's not really a concern for me. What is a concern, though, is the fact that uh, this is a flexible shoe. This is, you know, a Nike Free is very flexible throughout the shoe. It can twist and bend in many different ways. And uh, for me, running really slow in a, in a shoe like this, this just makes me feel good. And so I will typically wear this for recovery runs, just like that Under Armour shoe I just showed you, or I'll wear it for a moderate day. I probably wouldn't wear this for a long run because it's not gonna give me quite the support with that really low stack height and heel toe drop, but it gives me enough for a shorter run. And for something that is maybe 10 miles or less, this is one of my go-tos. All right, uh, I actually just stopped wearing this shoe. This is a, another shoe that a friend gave me, um, but this is another example. I don't even know the name of this one. Is this a Nike Free or something a little bit different? It has the, the Nike Free sole, obviously, because it's very flexible again. Um, 
And I was wearing this for workouts uh, because of how flexible it was, because of how uh, low to the ground it was. When I wanted to run fast, when I was doing any kind of a structured, faster workout, this was my go-to for a couple reasons. Number one, it's really light. Number two, it's very flexible. So it allows my foot to move naturally the way it is designed to move. Um, and to be honest with you, I really like the colors, orange, purple, they're just hot colors for a fast day. And so this is a great shoe that uh, I reserved for faster days because of its weight and because of its flexibility. Uh, really like this one. Now, let me show you my go-to running shoe that I've been wearing for probably about three months now. That's the, uh, this is an Adidas Sense Boost Go. Their, their names are like four names long now, so I always forget what they are. Uh, but I like this shoe for a couple reasons. Number one, uh, there's a decent amount of foam underneath this shoe. So the, the sole is relatively thick compared with what I usually run in. And so this is my long run shoe. This gives me the support and the, the cushioning that I like when I go out for a longer run. An hour and a half or more, this is my shoe. Now I have been wearing this for faster workouts because the foam is actually very responsive. I, I don't think it's a perfect speed work shoe for me though because of the amount of foam under there. It's a little bit uh, less responsive, not quite as responsive as I would like in a shoe for workouts. Um, but because the foam is more responsive than other foams, then I have been wearing it for some workouts. And I think for you know tempo runs, progressions, fast finish long runs, those kinds of efforts, this is a really good shoe. Um, it, it protects my foot really well. The one big complaint I have about it is that you can see how I have purple shoelaces on here. I needed new shoelaces because the shoelace is completely shredded. And you can see right here at the big toe, there's almost some wear and tear where my toe is about to come out. Uh, on the left shoe, there is a hole right there. Apparently my left toe comes up a little bit more than my right. So I don't know, maybe the shoe isn't as durable as some other shoes, but nevertheless, it's been a faithful friend over the last couple months. All right, let me show you one more pair. This is not a pair I'm, I'm running in right now. I ran in these when I was in college, when I would run indoor or outdoor track races, and they are, oh my God, look how beautiful they are. This is the Nike Ventilus Spike. Look, the spikes on the bottom. Actually not very aggressive sp spikes. Uh, they are really made for either an outdoor or an indoor track. This is not something you'd wear on the road or for cross country, any kind of trail run. Um, but you know, these were my favorite spikes because they're ridiculously patterned and colored with these polka dots. Uh, they made me feel fast. They fit my foot like a glove. And I knew that when I had them on, I was positioning myself for a great race. So. If you're a track athlete, definitely get yourself a pair of track spikes because uh, not only will you race faster, but you're gonna feel really fast too. So uh, I hope this was helpful. I hope as you are going through your training, you are leaving no stone unturned when it comes to trying to prevent your next injury and stay healthy. Rotating through a variety of running shoes throughout the week does provide injury prevention benefits. So I hope you take advantage of that and get yourself two or three pairs of different shoes that you can wear. Actually, you don't even really need different shoes. If you had the same pair of shoes and you had maybe two or three pairs of it, that would still provide you with some injury prevention benefits because the wear on each pair of shoes is gonna be slightly different the ages of those shoes is gonna be slightly different. So the decomposition of the foam is going to be uh, moving at a faster rate with the older shoes, and then the shoes that are newer are gonna have a little bit more support to them. So you don't really need different shoes, though I do recommend it because of all the variety you're going to get with the level of support and the foam and the stack height and all those things we talked about. So. Uh, as you are buying your next pair of shoes, I want you to find what's right for you, what works really well for you, what feels good when you're out there running. But also, you know, let's experiment. Let's get some different pairs of shoes and try them on and see how they feel. Because ultimately, if you are able to wear a bunch of different shoes, you're gonna be a healthier runner.